YouTube friends. Hi buddies out there. It is Tuesday the 11th of May 2021. I am driving out to the country. So you know I gotta talk to my pals out there. We'll see how long I can talk. It's sprinkling right now. It may start raining. We will see. But I did want to check in with everybody and just say hi. Sorry I haven't been around a lot. I am still on low carb and really, really love it. I have just found kind of that sweet spot with it where I'm eating vegetables. I'm sticking to Dr. Westman's list. My hunger has been greatly reduced and my cravings are gone. Today I am hungry. <laughs> Today I'm really hungry. So I got a, I got on the scale this morning. <clears throat> I am down the pound that I gained in Florida and then I'm down three other pounds. So we're doing great. We're still out of the 250s. I will let you know. I'm trying not to weigh as frequently and not have like such a set weigh-in day. So I feel like I kind of jump on the scale periodically and see where I'm at, especially if I feel like my clothes are a little bit looser and that seems to be working for me. Um, so uh, let's see what else is going on. I am in the three week Keto made simple class that is a, an adapt class by Dr. Westman where you have modules and quizzes that you watch and you take. There's a lot of like additional reading and then you go into the group on Facebook. <clears throat> There's a lot of support there as well as a weekly live chat with the nutritionist and with Dr. Westman where you get to ask questions and they answer and it's just great. For example, last week I asked about um, crystal light. <laughs> I'm so dumb because I didn't look at the box and I was like, can we drink crystal light? It just kind of popped into my head and the nutritionist, Amy Berger, said that um, crystal light can have up to three carbs per packet, like sugar, you know, carbohydrates. Um, and uh, she just said she doesn't drink that anymore and she does like iced herbal teas. So I remembered that I have this piece of Tupperware. I'm not trying to sell you guys anything, but this is just, um, I have this pitcher that has like a piece in it that you put your tea bags in. And I love iced passion tea from Tazo, T-A-Z-O. It is the passion tea that Starbucks uses for their teas. Um, and you can get it at Starbucks. You can order a venti iced passion tea with no sweetener. And it's the same thing as what you could make for home. So I put two of those tea bags in this huge pitcher overnight and the next day I had perfect Starbucks tea. So you can find that tea at um, Target. I found it online before and I've been doing that with a little bit of stevia in it and it's so yummy. So that has replaced the Crystal Light because you guys know I'm notoriously bad about drinking plain water. <laughs> so uh, I am enjoying that. I also asked this week if this way of eating helps with depression and anxiety. <clears throat> Asher started this plan with me this week. He started at 199. He is already at 192, of course, because he's a 21 year old guy. So, um, he told me he was eating up to like 4,000 calories a day of just whatever. And so he had put on some weight. He's trying to lose about 25 pounds. And it has already gotten off almost 10 of that. He has a wedding that he's in this summer. So we 
talked about structural tension today. He and I were talking about structural tension, which is where when you first start losing weight, <clears throat> you have a lot of tension because you feel bad, your clothes don't fit well. There's a lot of tension there. So you have a lot of tension, you have a lot of motivation from that tension. But over time, as you start to feel better and the number on the scale goes down and your clothes fit better, you have more energy, you lose that tension and for many people, you go back to old habits because you're just feeling good and you're like, oh, I can do whatever I want and you don't feel as much pressure to stay on your healthy eating plan. So you really have to replace that with good habits and so... You know, I've been reading all of these books on habits and forming habits, and so I've been talking a lot to him about, well, once you do get to your goal weight, how are you going to maintain this, you know? And so we talked about sort of this idea of incorporating foods and seeing if your weight fluctuates, and if it does, going back, you know, and, and eliminating some of those things and being really strict, kind of seeing where he can, uh, where he can add some carbs here and there. <clears throat> I think he's probably going to be like me and Judah and my whole family and just have to really watch the carbs for the rest of his life. But he also has to figure that out for himself. So <laughs> I'm just like coaching him and passing on the information that I'm reading and watching and learning about on uh, in this class and in the books that I've read. So far, one of the best books I've read is Enter Carb Confusion. I just feel like Dr. Westman has such a simple approach to low carb or keto. I mean, he really isn't about eating all this fat, you know, eating sticks of butter and eating, you know, he's like, uh, get your protein in, you know, get your uh, servings of greens in, and then he limits the fat. So you have very limited fat, and I just feel like it makes so much sense. I've been watching all kinds of YouTube conference videos. I was going to link the one that I watched the other day, and I couldn't find it after I watched it because I watched it on my my work Surface Pro on a lunch break, and it got lost. I have a couple of work computers, and they are pretty much... <laughs> pretty much a disaster all the time. I, they don't function half the time. It's pretty amazing that I'm able to do my work. I'm always having to restart them and shut things down and call IT. And I think they actually are going to have to resurface my Surface Pro. So it's raining out in the country. It's raining out in the country. Anyway, so he's enjoying that. My husband is <clears throat> trying to eat lower carb. That's a whole other story. And meanwhile, I've just been extremely busy. They've started to phase me out, phase me down with my caseload. So uh, last month I had 30 moms and 30 babies. I'm in the process of graduating seven of those, and they're not having me add any moms to my caseload because they're going to start ramping me up to supervise. And of course, I work for the state, and so it takes a while to get all these things sort of figured out, but we're growing our program, and so they're kind of shifting me out of this role and into a new role and I picked up all kinds of new responsibilities. We just hired a new nurse and I'm going to be orienting her the last week of this month. And, uh, you know, saying goodbye to some of my patients that I've had for almost three years, which is really, really difficult. <laughs> so, but I've been incredibly busy to the point of between church my husband's best friend was in town over the weekend. We had company. We had my kids here uh, for Pascha the previous weekend. We had Holy Week. Sunday we had a church uh, outdoor gathering. I was at until 5 o'clock in the evening. I've had no time. No time to do any of 
the things that I love to do. I've had no time to, like Tupperware went to a new computer system. I haven't even looked at it. <laughs> uh, this year I have to recertify in like 10 different things, so I've got to do all that. It's just a lot. We're talking about traveling again, so it looks like I have a conference coming up. And the reason I did so much uh, fun stuff with Tupperware last year is because we were on lockdown and I had all this extra time and we didn't have church stuff and I didn't, wasn't going on trips and I wasn't, you know, it was just a totally different life in 2020 and now with my promotion things are amping up so and church has been really busy so uh, there's that and that's a whole other you know, we have women's group coming up and we have, you know, a community project we just finished, which was really great where we were able to make diaper bags for the community and we, you know, just have a lot of stuff going on. So I have to kind of reconfigure again and I really like doing the Tupperware stuff. I just don't have a lot of extra time for that. And that actually can be like a full, another full-time job. And it's just um, going to have to be more of like a part-time or for fun hobby that I can manage once a month. <laughs> so I'm missing. The problem is those are all my friends over there in my Tupperware buddies group. And I'm just missing everybody. But there's only one of me. And I just don't, I can't do all of it. Like I haven't been able to do YouTube. I haven't been able to do Instagram. I haven't been on Facebook. And it's like at some point something has to give and that's what's having to give is the social media stuff and the, the fun stuff. I did just order a bunch of creative memory scrapbooking stuff so that I can work on my son's scrapbook from his wedding. So I can't wait to get that. Um, I really need like a, I just need like a fun craft project or something. There's very little time to do the things that Amy wants to do for fun. There just isn't. So I do have a trip uh, coming up in the, in the middle of the summer to see my in-laws. We're all meeting up. Uh, my sister-in-laws rented a house in Destin on the beach and so um I think on the beach or near the anyway it doesn't matter where it's at but it's you know near the beach so that we can do water stuff we're all vaccinated so we're just gonna have a family you know little trip and I think that will be great my allergies are starting to bug me so there must be something out here in the country that's floating in the air That's what's going on, and then this fall, my husband is playing a festival. I don't even know how they're having this festival, but it's it's on, you guys. Everything is starting to come back, and I don't know how everyone's doing it. And then we have a cruise booked for January. So I guess we're just continuing on, and I feel like I'm so used to lockdown and COVID stuff now that it's hard for me to reset <laughs> the opposite direction especially when I work in healthcare and we're still, I felt like the hospital was extended out, like healthcare was extended out and everybody was doing the same thing. And then we go back to, oh, I'm in healthcare. So of course I'm doing something uh, different. You know, like I'm, it's just different. Healthcare is always gonna be different. We're always gonna be wearing protective, you know, PPE and stuff like that. I mean, that's just how our lives are. And so, um, we can go back in the homes with, you know, certain precautions or we're going back into the homes with certain precautions with wear gowns and masks and gloves and all these crazy things, <laughs> which I understand why we're doing that. But sometimes you feel like, um, a Martian or like something out of a horror movie. You start to feel really weird. <laughs> it's okay. The babies look at you like their little faces. Uh, it's a different experience. So, that's kind of an update. I just wanted to say hello to you guys and let you know I'm doing great. 
someday I'll have time to do the things that I want to do. Um, right now, I'm in survival mode and it's okay to be in that place. But drop me a line, let me know how you're doing. And I'm gonna go see this patient. So stay in orbit, you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.